In this video you will learn how to import Spine 2D characters into Unreal Engine. Ok, so the first thing you want to make sure is that your engine version is from 4.21 or latest. Or this is not gonna work. So, the next thing you want to do is go to this GitHub page, it is the Spy2D runtime, you will find the link in the description. Uh, just click on code and hit download zip. It will download for you the entire package of runtimes of Spine2D in order to get everything work. Make sure you have a zip extractor like we are and extract the, this two folder. Uh, one is uh, Spine UI4, UE4 and the other is Spine CPP. You will need this in a moment. Another thing you want to make sure is you have Visual Studio installed in your computer. Then we can move forward and create a new project. I'm going to use the default uh, 2D side scroller and I'm gonna set it to Blueprint even though we need C++ project. That's because we are gonna convert it in a C++ project so we can keep the Blueprint features in the engine. So when your engine is started, add to file right away and click new C++ class. Don't select null, instead select Hector and click next. This is important, otherwise this will break. The name is not important, just make sure you change the, uh, the runtime so the path is pointing to your project folder. And then you can create the class. Once the process is all over, you want to make sure everything is working fine by adding to Arial and click Compile. If you can see the compiling C++ code in the bottom of the screen, it is all working. You can now close the project and open up the presently exported folder that is Pine UE4 and cut or copy your plugins folder and paste it into your project folder. Now, we are still not done yet. Now we need the spine cpp folder. We need to open it up and cut or copy the spine cpp folder inside. This time around we are going to copy the folder in uh, plugins, spine plugin, public and pass it there. So everything is pretty done here and we can now go back and open up our project. When opening our project you will notice that it will ask you to compile, just hit yes and let it do its thing. If you're getting any errors or whatever, uh, just open up your SLN file and compile from Visual Studio. And if you have any errors, understand why they are happening and fix them. So now everything is done and we can check inside our plugins in Unreal, we shall now have Spine plugin installed. Moving forward, we now have to export our Spine character for Unreal. We can do so by selecting Binary Export and select Export Atlas Textures. Then just click Export and pretty much select the location where you want it to be extracted. Now, we have our files, we can now drag the skeleton inside the real and it will work just fine. If you're having this error or whatever, it means that your spine version does not match your runtime version. You will either have to match the version of your runtime with your spine, or you can do things the hacky way I like to do, and open with a notepad your skeleton file and just change the version at the top of the file and save it back. Then you can report it in a real and it will work just fine. Of course you still have to make sure your runtime version and your spine version does not uh, diverge too much from each other. So this hack will work. Now going back to a real you can create an actor, a pawn, a paper character, a character, whatever, 
Just add this component here, that is the spine skeleton animation. And select your imported file on the right, which is the atlas and the data. Once you did all of this, we need another component now. Just click on add component and this time we're gonna add a spine skeleton renderer. And now we finally have our character inside Unreal. It is showing up and everything should be pretty much working. You can select a preview animation to do some tests and check if everything is working fine. Just make sure that real time is selected here in the viewport. So as you can see, everything is working fine now. And I can proceed and drag the uh, character inside the scene. We can then proceed to scale it down also if you want. By the way, sorry if you can see my cursor. This happened during the recording. It won't happen next time. So if we want to uh, animate our character now, we can do uh, a simple uh, stuff in the blueprint here. We can call this node, which is set animation based on the spine uh, skeleton animation. We will set it to loop and drag again from here. We can also add to queue another animation like idle, for example. And we'll loop this one too. We can set a delay and it will be played after the initial animation. As you can see here in the game. It will work and then it will go into run. Pretty cool, right? Another cool thing that you can do with the spying character, you can add it to your UMG. So creating a new user widget, we can search for spine and we will find the spine widget. If we add it to the canvas, uh, it will be empty. We can add the usual data for the character on the right and it will show up, as you can see. Now if we hit play, it won't show up because we need to add it to the viewport. Uh, we can also animate the, the character in the UMG by using uh, the same kind of node by dragging the spine widget in and we again set animation, uh, write in the animation you want, but this time uh, we will need to tick the animation, otherwise it will not work. So now I will add uh, the character to the viewport so you can see what I'm talking about. So now if we play, uh, the character will stand still. So we need to call this uh, event tick. And then tick again and connect the delta time to it. Now, when we hit play, the character will play the animation. So, this is really it for this tutorial, guys. Hope this was useful. Please uh, check the link in the description, join my Discord, play my game, and hope this was helpful. Subscribe, leave a like, and if you have any questions, ask in the comments or on Discord.